So I cut the hood a little bit further than the midpoint. The midpoint is somewhere here. So one thing that I would do differently if I were to do it again is I would probably make the cut somewhere here, like maybe a quarter. I cut it with the Dremel tool. So I marked it first and I put tape on the sides. Start with the top because even though it seems boxy, it's not, it's slightly tapered towards the top. So that might influence the way that you measure things. So make sure you keep that in mind. I made the cut and then with the sandpaper, I sanded the rough edges. The actual lid is slightly lower than the back. I've tried various ways to try and keep them level, but because of the T-seal that I put up here, it doesn't really work all that well. I just used the Dremel tool to shave a little bit off, not that much. So just there, a millimeter and a half to two maybe. Better to cut twice than cut once and ruin it. This is the same handle that is on the other hood. It works well, but the problem is once you reach at the top, you have to kind of grab onto it. So I printed two different handles here. It's kind of like a bullet design and it slides, but because of the screw here and the little bit of a lip I left, it spins on its own. And that way you can have a very comfortable grip going up or down. It's quite easy to buckle. So obviously did that uh, at the hinges points. Even, even though I tried different ways to make it not buckle, it didn't work. So I ended up buying two pieces of steel. They are quarter inch thick. And this is half an inch wide. This is one inch wide. It's stainless steel because moisture and stuff which shouldn't happen because of this control uh, fan here. It has humidity and temperature control and that should take care of that. Marked from the acrylic hole, I just, you know, lined it up and marked it on the steel. I just made sure that it is about a millimeter back from the edge, just so it would not touch the rubber seal. And it goes the same with the one inch plate. So really slowly, unless the drills are marked for high speed. I'm using Milwaukee Cobalt drill bits and I have to say the thinnest ones, I'm not very happy with them. I used three sizes just to get to the one that I actually wanted.
564, 764, and one eighth of an inch. And then the final hole is five over 32 of an inch. And I drilled the holes and just attached it to the hood. And now, as you can see, nothing buckles anymore because obviously you have a steel plate that goes from edge to solid edge. So that creates that rigidity. And that's about that.